My name is Emma and I'm a radiographer. I do both x-rays and CT scans. Well, CT stands for computer tomography. Uh, what it is, it uses a, a highly specialised x-ray machine to create your pictures. As you're lying on the table and the table's moving uh, into the gantry, it's taking a, a lot of uh, detailed pictures of your anatomy. Uh, from the uh, data, we can reconstruct your images in many different orientations that will allow the radiologist to create their report. CT scans uh, use radiation to acquire the images. Technology has, has improved tremendously to keep that dose down to a minimum. The diagnostic benefits that you will get out of having a CT scan will far outweigh any risks that are involved. Um, however, if you have any concerns, do see your referring doctor and have a talk to your doctor uh, in regards to if a CT scan is appropriate uh, for your needs. To prepare for your CT scan will depend on what type of an examination that you need to have. Uh, for the majority of CT scans there is no preparation involved. There are a few however, for example if you're having a CT scan of your abdomen, you need to fast for several hours beforehand. Uh, depending on what type of examination you're having, you may be required to drink an oral contrast. Um, that could either be water, uh, sometimes we might give you a white drink that's called barium. Um, what that does, it just uh, helps to pacify your bowels. Um, if some examinations require an injection of contrast and if that is required then we get you to fast for about uh, two to four hours prior and to make sure that you stay well hydrated. If it's required that you need to have the CT contrast, the radiographer will put the cannula in. You'll be lying on the table. Uh, the table is going to go in and out of the machine. Sometimes the machine will tell you that you need to breathe in and hold your breath. Uh, the scan itself, it only takes just a, a few seconds, maybe 12 seconds at most. Um, however, we, we like to allow about 20 minutes for your appointment just to take into the fact that you may need to get changed for your test, that we need to get you onto the table and we might need to cannulate you. CT scans themselves are painless, you won't feel anything. If you, it's required that you need to have the CT contrast, what you can expect to feel is you get a metallic taste in your mouth and you feel a hot sensation all over your body, so it'll start up in your head and it just works its way right through. Um, that funny sensation will only last for a couple of minutes and then it'll start to fade away. If you're pregnant, we advise that you do not have a CT scan um, and that it's best to talk to your referring doctor if you think that there is a possibility that you might be pregnant or if you're uh, actively trying to conceive uh, before you attend to our site. The CT scan's very quick, uh, however the radiographer will need to go back and reconstruct a lot of images. Uh, the radiologist will then need time to have a closer look through your images and to create a written report. We'll send that report on to your referring doctor. Um, you'll be able to ask reception when that will be ready and then you can make an appropriate appointment time to see your doctor.